Hello YouTube! I previously have shown you a tutorial on how to make a logo in Adobe Photoshop. However though, this time I'm going to voice narrate it to win my new webcam and make it a lot better. Last time my logo was actually blocking the screen because I forgot to turn the transparency on which really was embarrassing. So this time I'll show you the full thing. The full. Full. So, as you can see, I've got a new background and no icons. Oh, yeah, I need to continue on a trial basis. I haven't bought it fully because I don't need to. Might get a C, are you okay? If you want Adobe Photoshop, simply go to the Adobe website. It's as simple as that, really. You can buy it, get a C, are you okay? Simple as that, really. So, first, you want to go File, New. Now. Well, mine's already set to it, you see. Resolution doesn't matter. You see, it, that for me, I'd never have bothered with it. Width 100, height 100, gotta be in pixels. 16 bit RGB color, transparent. You should come up with this block. Right, now we're gonna minimize this for the minute. You wanna open up your web browser? For me, that's Mozilla Firefox, so I always find it more customizable. So first, we want to go to YouTube. Should be the first link. You already know that, don't you? Else you wouldn't be viewing this. So, when you type in computer counselor, go to this video. Pause it, you only need the description. And go on this link. When you find this image, just copy it. You don't need to save it. Now I want to go back into Adobe Photoshop and paste it. There it is. Now, as you noticed, it's not no longer transparent. So get out your magic wand tool. If you if you have a quick selection tool, then just hold down the mouse on it and go to magic wand. Once you've got that, click the delete key. Then once you've done that, you want to add some effects. So go to your layer, blending options. Now what every logo usually has is a stroke, which is a border. Choose your type, me, I'm trying to show you how to make my logo for instance, and then you can alter it as you go. I'd have uh, this color at four. Click OK. There you are, that border. Fantastic. So, next you want to add your text. So, you can download text if you think it'll give it a good effect. Because most people use an ordinary one. Me, not so much. I use Claw. Claw 1, if you want to be specific. A. R. Oh, and I also want it in a red colour so it shows up. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's try. Sorry about that. So once you've got your text, you want to get the selection tool and put it in the middle. That looks perfectly respectable. Now I'm going to show you how to add my finishing touch. Now you don't need to do this. Right, it's very easy, but you don't need to do this. That could easily be a finished logo, and if I were you, I'd add one more of these effects. For me, that's a gradient overlay. So then what I do is I go to this black one here and put that on quite light red about here and then this white block over here into dark dark black okay 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 Ta da my logo simple as that sometimes i change the stroke to make it look better because it doesn't show up as much with the gradient overlay but that's simple as it is add a few finishing touches and you'll be there that's how to make your own professional looking logo. Goodbye.